You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Changing your life with fibromyalgia? This is Lives Changed with your host, Deborah Lundquist. Through knowledge and prayer, Deb has learned to live with this difficult and often misdiagnosed disease. Get spiritual and good practical advice for achieving good health and acceptance while living with fibromyalgia. So now, please welcome the host of Lives Changed, Deborah Lundquist. Welcome to Life's Changed, a show about fibromyalgia and, as such, other chronic pain. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host, and you're listening to the BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, iTunes, and iHeartRadio.com. I would like to tell you a little bit about myself. In 1999, I had a life-changing experience myself. I had a death-defying car accident in which all the emergency people told me that I should have died, but God had other plans. It was rather interesting, actually, as I had the accident, and then when I opened the door, everybody just froze in place. One guy even had his leg up in the air. And it was like I was in a bubble and everybody was just standing there, frozen in place. I got out and I looked in the back because my arm was bright red like it was bleeding. And I had a bright, almost maroon-like triangle over the radial head of, uh, over my radial head. And so... I thought my arm was bleeding. So I went into the back of the car and I thought I had a sweater there. I was going to wrap it around my arm. And of course, um, I didn't have anything. And when I turned around, everybody was still um, standing in the same position, even the guy with his leg up. It was all very strange. So... um, Then I walked over to a gentleman and asked if I could use his phone. And then everybody started racing around. It was all very strange. So anyway, I'm rattling on like this because I'm trying to find my mouse. Anyway, um, I acquired RSD CRPS at that time. And... I um, still haven't found my mouse, but that's okay. We will continue. And um, which is the worst man pain known to man, according to the Miguel Pink chart. And when the doctors put that to sleep, we discovered I have fibromyalgia as well as several other chronic pain and autoimmune diseases. To learn more about me, you can read my bio on the Lives Change page on the BBM Global Network. All of our radio shows are saved there as well, from show one to last week's show. This week's show will be on there next week. I do need to say I am not a doctor or in the medical field in any way. I'm a patient, just like you. What I share with you, I've learned through extensive research, interviews with a multitude of doctors who have given me materials not available to the normal patient and living with the disease for over 19 years. If you have questions, you can call while the show is live as it is today on Saturday, September 15th. Can you believe it's already September 15th? 
And the phone number is 866-451-1451. Again, that's 866-451-1451. And you can get your questions answered while the show is live. Now, if I don't have the answer, I will write it down and have it for you next week. If you're shy and you don't want to ask the question while the show is live, you can email them to me at liveschangedradio at gmail.com or you can ask them on the comments section on the Lives Changed page on the BBM Global Network. While you're there, you can make other comments as well. Also, give me some other places where you can find, uh, let me give you some other places you can find me. On Facebook, you will see me on your, Y-O-U-R, Fibromyalgia, a support group for Fibromyalgia and other chronic pain. And I have a website, and that address is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash Deb Lundquist.com. That's my name, Deb Lundquist.com, where I've written articles for patients, family members, caregivers, and doubters, and even disbelievers. And now I have two fun quizzes about fibromyalgia. One is rather easy. The other one makes you think a little bit. I also have a story of my life and how I got the disease, access to the radio show with a listing of what each show is about, access to all of the natural nutritional products I use and sell, and there is a work from home opportunity for both products there as well. I also have products that I'm developing along the way. So if you have anyone who would like to know more about fibromyalgia, this is a really good place to send them. You can also call me personally, (coughs) excuse me, at 815-214-9443. Again, that's 815-214-9443. And that is my Google number. And you can leave me a message excuse me, it's harvest. And so, you know, that gets to me every time. But that rings into my personal phone. And so I will get a message on my phone. I will also get a message on Google. So please leave me a message and I will answer you back. Also, good news, my book about RSD-CRPS from a patient's perspective is now available finally on Amazon. Right now, it's available as an ebook. So look it up under Kindle. First go to books and then look at Kindle and look up the title RSD-CRPS from a patient's perspective. The price is $24.99. There will be other formats in the future. So I just wanted to let you know it is now available. So here we go. Let's see if I can go to the next section now. Um, The next thing I like to do is I like to do... um, I like to do affirmations. And so, since this isn't doing it, I'll have to do it by memory because <laughs> I can't find my dang mouse. So, here we go. Um, the first one is first time I do it, I say them. And I tell you why. And the second time I do it, I will um, tell you, uh, we will go through them together and say them out loud. So, uh, 
say it together. So this is Lives Changed. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host. Now don't go away. I'll be right back. There are artists and then there's Alice Asmar. This award-winning artist has spent her entire life devoted to her artistic pursuits and has had a lifelong fascination with American Indians of the southwestern United States. Her book, Dance to the Great Spirit, showcases her drawings and paintings inspired by sacred rituals of the Pueblo Indians, and four of her lithographs are in permanent collection at the National Museum of American History in the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. She is one of four artists in the United States to win a Woolley Fellowship for study in Paris at Les Col des Beaux-Arts and has been featured in numerous publications. She's exhibited at the world's most prestigious museums and galleries and recently won a 20-year service award from the Burbank City Council and the inaugural art competition of the Foundation of the United States in Paris. Visit www.asmarart.com, www.aliceasmarinternational.com and email alice at aliceasmar at aol.com. Do you ever wonder why certain things are happening in your life? How to start a business or a new direction? Need answers? Astrologer Bonnie Perbula can help you reveal your true self and gain strength and focus so you can achieve greater joy and success. Working with a natal birth date, time, and location, Bonnie brings out qualities to aid you in getting the best from your life. She can help you unlock dormant traits to bring you greater awareness. Bonnie also conducts public speaking engagements to educate aspiring astrologers on their journey to the stars. A gifted artist, Bonnie bridges her talents and recently launched a line of Astro Bears, uniquely created in colors of individuals' astrology charts. She also makes one-of-a-kind necklaces of crystal beads and woven thread. To learn more about the world of Bonnie Prabula, go to BonnieGPrabula.com. And for astrology consulting, visit AstrologyConsultants.com or call or email her at 808-526-1536 or BonnieGP at AOL.com. Welcome back to Lives Changed. I'm Deb, and here we go. I am not alone, and we're not alone. There are 10 million, they estimate, of adults who have fibromyalgia in the United States. And that is really a low number because they don't include children or teens, the misdiagnosed, the underdiagnosed. They don't include our military heroes who come back from war with PTSD who are then diagnosed with fibromyalgia. They say 20 million worldwide. But when you look at the United States compared to the world, and they say 10 million for the U.S., 20 million seems like a ridiculous number, don't you think? I am beautiful, or handsome as the case may be. Now, if you haven't written these down, please do so. Now, if they are discovering that our heroes, and most of them are male, are coming back with PTSD and then being diagnosed with fibromyalgia, Their eyes have opened and they've discovered, oh my, men can get fibromyalgia. Who knew? And so that ratio is changing. It's no longer four to one in favor of women. The last statistic I saw, it was more like three to two. So it's no longer just a woman's disease. Sorry, women. We can no longer claim this just as ours. Not that we really want to. I am loved, and oh my gosh, yes we are. You know, a lot of us lose our families, our blood families. But what we have to do is create families of our own. Those that we can love, and they can love us for who we are. A lot of times we lose our families because they knew us before and they can't accept us for who we are now. The ones we pick for our families now, they accept us for who we really are now. And so those are the ones that we really want, right? And some of our family members will stay with us. 
and we're blessed to have those. And so those, our families that we have now really do love us. Plus, our fibro families absolutely adore us. And if you're not a part of the fibro community, you need to become part of a fibro community, which means you need to become a part of a fibro support group. Not one that whines all the time, but one that actually gives you support. So... I suggest you join your fibromyalgia and you'll see there is a lot of support in that group. I don't allow arguing or attacking of any kind. All right, the next one is, I am needed. Oh my gosh, you are so needed. We are needed by our families. That need has never gone away And we are needed by the fibromyalgia community in a very bad way. And they need us and we need them. It's very important to realize that. And going along with that, I still have a purpose. And we do have a purpose, a very important purpose. We still have the purpose we had before. We may not be able to do all the things we did, but we still have a purpose. And we have a purpose within the fibromyalgia community. And that leads to I am important. Oh, my heavens, are we important. You know, we're still important to our families And we are important within the fibromyalgia community. So very important because we are needed. We are needed. We are a voice within the fibromyalgia community. And with over 10 million of us, we can be a very loud voice. Can you imagine 10 million of us speaking? That's a loud voice. Then I want you to look in the mirror and I want you to look in your beautiful eyes and I want you to say to yourself, I love you because you need to learn how to love yourself again. I have an article on deblundquist.com about learning to love yourself. And on show 40 and 41, I talk about why it's important. And once you learn to love yourself again, you're not going to let anybody, no doctor, no physical therapist, nobody walk on you again. You're going to tell them to stop when it hurts too much. You're not going to let them continue to hurt you. Okay? Then, I am a survivor, and yes, you are if you're listening, and that means you're a warrior because we fight this every single day of our lives. And then, I am still me. You know, the outer part of our bodies is just a shell. It's just a shell. Think about it. But the inside, your soul, is, so to speak, That is still you. That has never changed. So the essence of you is still there. We might not be able to do everything we did before. We're disabled. We have to realize that. And we have to just take steps a little bit at a time. Okay, we know that. But we are still... Still the same person inside that we've always been. And then I am unique. There is no one else like me anywhere in the world. That makes me not only special, that makes me powerful. And if identical twins aren't alike, and they aren't, and you know they aren't, then there isn't anybody else like you Anywhere in the world, you're unique. You were created and the mold was thrown away. All right, let's say these together. You say them out loud with me. I am not 
alone. I am beautiful or handsome. I am loved. I am needed. I still have a purpose. This is Lives Changed. I'm Deb Lundquist. And when we come back, we will continue these. We'll be right back. Essential Nutrients, LLC, is the brainchild of entrepreneur Barbara Burns. Inspired by a desire to help others, Barbara worked with a team of scientists to develop unique nutritional liquid supplements with the goal to improve the quality of your life. Glucosamine, zinc, and calcium are essential to well-being, and this is the focus of Essential Nutrients, LLC. Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, student, business owner, or homemaker, Essential Nutrients offers products for everyone, including the family pet. And they're easy to take, no pills. Health requires commitment, exercise, a good diet, proper supplementation, and action. So take action today and get your supply of essential liquid nutrients by visiting www.essential-liquids.com. Don't put off your health any longer. Take essential products today and start to measure the difference. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkalife, and frequency machines. Machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. Welcome back to Lives Changed. I'm Deb. So we're saying affirmations out loud. You say them with me, please. And we just got done saying, I am needed. I still have a purpose. I am important. I love you. And I say it every week and I mean it. With the bottom of my heart, I do love you guys, or I wouldn't do this radio show. I am a survivor. That makes me a warrior. I am still me. I am unique. There is no one else like me anywhere in the world. That makes me not only special, that makes me powerful. And you know, folks, that is a gift from God. And he's given you special talents and special, um, oh, I don't want to say powers, but special talents and skills that nobody else has. Some of you can draw, some of you can write, some of you can do other things. Some of you are good listeners, you know, that kind of thing, and other other things. And I didn't discover what mine was until after my accident. And then all of a sudden, bing, bang, boom. I was given all kinds of skills I didn't know I had. So, you'll find your skills once you discover that how to live with fibromyalgia and once you get to the acceptance stage of the disease. Just don't waste it. Well, it's Saturday again. I can't believe how fast time goes. 
So what is the weather where you live? Well, it's gotten warm again here. And the humidity is back. And harvest is a-going. They are out in the field. It's dry and the dust and mold is flying. So a lot of allergy and asthma sufferers are really having problems. So if that is you and your chest is hurting, go see your doctor because they can help you with that. Don't just sit at home and worry that you're having a heart attack or something. Go see your doctor, see if it's asthma, see if it's allergies. If your heart checks out okay and you aren't suffering from allergies or asthma, ask if you have costochondritis because a lot of people are coming up with that recently. So that is something that maybe you should check out. Do you have your drink ready and are you in your comfy clothes? Good. Then let's start to have a nice relaxing hour together continuing our discussion on IC. We are going to continue that discussion today and it is going to be a discussion, an in-depth discussion about IC, which I have researched and researched and researched. And I want to give you the source again because I promised I would. And I've been giving it to you every week. The source is Interstitial Cystitis Association, and it should say Conquering IC, Changing Lives. This is an excellent source. It's one that I have um, taken uh, word for word and am using in this show so that you can um, look it up and use it yourself. I think that it is awesome. They will help you find a good doctor in your area. They will help you find a support group. Um, I've never really seen a site this well prepared, even my own. (laughs) So the site is HTTPS colon forward slash, forward slash, www dot I, C as in cat, H as in hat, E, L as in Lucy, P as in Peter, dot org, forward slash. I'll say it again. H, T, T, P, S, colon, forward slash, forward slash, www.ic, as in cat, H as in hat, E, L as in Lucy, P as in Peter, dot org, forward slash. So, now, shall we continue on? But first, if we could go to a commercial, I think that would be just Great, Um, because I have to move and I can't find my mouse. So, um, this is Life's Changed. I'm Deb Lundquist, and don't go away. We'll be right back. Psychologist, master certified coach, and CEO of the executive and organizational development firm, True North Leadership, Dr. Relly Nadler brings his expertise in emotional intelligence to keynotes, consulting, coaching, and training. 
He is the author of Leader's Playbook and Leading with Emotional Intelligence that lays out tips and tools for effective leadership. Dr. Nadler has designed multi-day executive boot camps for high achievers in Fortune 500 companies and has coached CEOs, presidents, and their staff and developed and delivered innovative leadership programs for such organizations as Anheuser-Busch, BMW, MCI, EDS, DreamWorks Animation, the U.S. Navy, and Vanguard Health Systems. To learn more and get your free iPhone app highlighting his tools with videos, leadership keys, visit www.truenorthleadership.com today. Do you battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Weight No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Weight No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Weight No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Weight No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. Welcome back to Lives Change. This is Deb. Uh, sorry about that. My, uh, I have to use my phone right now because the internet is so awful. So I can't use my mouse, my regular mouse. So anyway, here we go. So the newly diagnosed toolkit, Conquering IC, Changing Lives, Interstitial Cystitis Association, the helpful toolkit uh, points patients use. So, physical therapists also use a variety of devices to help you learn to relax your pelvic floor or to treat your pelvic pain directly. I might have said some of this last week, but we're going to go over it and then move on. Biofeedback uses electrodes placed on your body or on the perineum and or the area around the anus or probes inserted in the vagina or rectum to sense how tense or relaxed your pelvic floor muscles are and display the results on a computer or other device. You know, there really isn't any other way to, to figure this out. Um, it, excuse me, it might sound kind of awful, but there really isn't a, any other way to figure it out. These cues can help you learn to relax those muscles. You may be able to buy or rent a unit to use at home, and that would be pretty awesome. Electrical stimulation stimulates your pelvic floor muscles directly through a small probe inserted into the vagina or rectum. This may help desensitize nerves or even cause muscles to contract and relax. Stimulation through electrodes placed on your body may be used to calm pains and spasms. These units can also be used at home. Interferential therapy is a kind of electrical stimulation delivered from electrodes placed on the skin. The impulses interfere with each other at the point of pain deep in the tissues and can replace and relieve the sensations of spasms. These units can also be used at home. So these are really nice things if you can get them. At home, ultrasound uses high frequency sound waves applied through a wand or probe on your skin to produce an internal image or help treat pain. Real time ultrasound can let you see your pelvic floor muscles functioning and you can learn to relax them. Therapeutic ultrasound uses sound waves to produce deep warmth 
that may help reduce spasms and increase, increase blood flow or on a non-thermal setting may promote healing and reduce inflation. Newer ultrasound devices administer low frequency, low intensity waves and again can be used at home. Cold laser applies low intensity laser light to the tissue and may help with pain, inflammation, and wound healing. Some devices have FDA approval for temporary relief of minor muscle aches, joint pain, stiffness, and for relaxation of muscle spasm and increased local blood flow where they are trapped or pinched by muscles. Find a knowledgeable PT. Many physicians who treat IC now work with PTs who know how to experience, who know, they know, sorry, who, who are experienced in IC and pelvic pain treatment techniques. But the ICA and other organizations can help you find a qualified PT as well. So please go to their site to find a qualified PT in your area. Health insurance benefits for physical therapy for IC and pelvic floor dysfunction vary. The good news is that insurance coverage is improving. Before you start therapy, find out whether your plan covers it and ask what diagnosis it will pay for. For example, some may pay for therapy for pelvic pain, but not for IC. It can also help to check the state laws. So here is what I suggest. Find out what they'll pay for and then have your therapist or your doctor use those terms instead of, you know, IC. If it won't cover IC, then have them say pelvic pain. I know it's tricky. It isn't, it isn't lying. You just have to uh, play the insurance company's games. For example, although California requires HMOs to pay for many services, you may need to remind the HMO of these requirements. In addition, some PTs do not participate in insurance plans, and you may be required to pay out of pocket and submit the bills to the insurance company yourself for reimbursement. If you have to pay out of pocket entire, entirely, one way to keep your costs down is to ask for your PT to train you to do home treatments and then do them. Don't go home and not do them. If you want to improve, you have to do the therapies. Your physical conditioning, muscle tension, posture, alignment, nutrition, and urinary bowel habits can all play a role in pelvic pain. That's why your PT will teach you things to do at home that build on the therapies not done in the offices. Because the main goal of therapy for IC patients is to learn to control and especially relax the pelvic floor. Your PT may teach you general relaxation techniques, stretches for the leg and back muscles, how to maintain good posture and visualization. Part of learning to sense your pelvic floor muscles and to relax them. Some PTs may show you, and even a partner, how to massage muscles and treat trigger points both externally and internally with a finger or an appropriate tool. And I'll tell you, when I had endometriosis and I would go into a spasm, Bob had to learn how to go in and release that spasm with the finger internally. They were horrible. Biofeedback or other instruments can also be a part of a home treatment program. 
As you progress, the PT may give you strengthening exercises for any weak muscles in your core or extremities. However, Kegel exercises are not appropriate in the beginning for IC patients. But after you learn to relax your pelvic floor, your therapist may teach you Kegel-like exercises to help you learn to control your pelvic floor muscles. This is Life's Changed. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host. Now don't go away. We'll be right back. America is out of control. Today's capitalism and the approach to money is in fact the symptom of a more widespread pattern of excessive behavior. In his book, The Culture of Excess, How America Lost Self-Control and Why We Need to Redefine Success, clinical psychologist Dr. Jay Slosar portrays an America where excess fuels the drive to succeed. Dr. Slosar examines the cultural factors that lead to excess ranging from obesity to fraud to pervasive budget deficits. His book examines the powerful economic and social factors and their impact on our psychological well-being. Dr. Slosar explores the psychological impact of increasing narcissism, perfectionism, self-destruction, and our identity confusion. He offers recommendations for helping Generation Me become Generation We. Those who resist Slosar's message will want to avoid his discussion of regulation and his recent message that at this point, democracy must be more important than today's capitalism. Get his book now online or by visiting thecultureofexcess.com. Attorney Renee Marie Smith is changing the way we sell real estate. She wrote a series of books called My Short Sale Guru Guides for all real estate practitioners. Whether you're a homeowner wanting to understand the process, an agent who has been handling short sales for years, or an industry analyst wanting to know how short sales impact your business. Renee uses her vast real estate experience to take a comprehensive look at the recent market phenomena while relaying it in an easy to understand format. Through her company, Smith Title Services, Renee has counseled thousands of short sale participants and processed in excess of a thousand short sales. Her knowledge is transformational for real estate professionals and laymen alike, and her live presentations provide people the opportunity to ask specific questions about their issues. Buy her books and schedule her to speak at your next event. Visit www www.smithtitleservices.com or call 305-705-3428 or email her at renee at smithtitleservices.com Isn't it time to sell your property today? Learn the My Short Sale Guru way. Welcome back to Lives Change. This is Deb. So, physical therapists can also teach your bladder and bowel retraining techniques to help you control and reduce urgency, frequency, and incomplete emptying. They can help you make dietary changes to avoid bladder irritants and constipation and to maintain good nutrition. They can also tell you how best to use heat and cold for comfort. Now, there are also complementary therapies. And most often, they're used to treat interstitial cystitis symptoms, including biofeedback, diet-based therapies, herbal therapies, massage, yoga, Pilates. I I never thought of Pilates. So the abbreviation CAM refers to healthcare systems, practices, and products that are not part of the conventional medicine treatment approaches. Complementary is practitioners using, along with conventional medicines, they use dietary supplements, PR, uh, Peter, um, Ralph E., Lucy, i.e. Frank, to reduce IC symptoms in conjunction with the conventional IC therapy, Elmeron, that's E. Lucy, uh, Man, I, Ralph, O, Nancy, is an example of this. Then there's alternative medicine in place of conventional medicine care. Using acupuncture alone to treat IC with no other conventional therapies is an example of using alternative medicine. Herbs, dietary supplements, and biologicals uh, is a 
type of natural plant-based substances. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration considered these therapies to be dietary supplements and not medicines. An anti-yeast diet, dietary supplements, diet-based therapies, herbs and other products from plants, enzymes, etc. Medical marijuana, cannabis, probiotics. Then there's mind-body medicine. It focuses on how the mind and body interact. Examples of mind-body medicine used by people with IC include art therapy, guided imagery, hypnosis, mindful meditation, movement therapies, music therapies, Pilates, I know I don't say that right, prayer, support groups, which are so helpful, Tai Chi, writing therapy, and yoga. Then there's massage manipulation and body-based practices. These types of therapies involve a hands-on approach, physically working with the body. There's Alexander technique, chiropractic manipulation, massage therapy, osteopathic manipulation, physical therapy, which we've already talked about, reflexology, and that's using the bottom of your feet, your hands, and your ears. Traeger psychophysical integration. Energy medicine leverages the concept that all people have subtle energy fields within them that they emit. Practitioners of energy medicine believe that a disturbance in these energy fields causes disease. So that includes acupuncture, acupressure, biofeedback, energy healing therapy, magnet therapy, qigong, therapeutic touch. Then there's oral medication, and like I said, one of them is Elmeron. Then there's bladder installation. Now, that is uh, the American Neurological Association's practice guidelines for IC indicates bladder installations as a second-line treatment option when diet modification stress management, and over-the-counter products are not enough. Bladder installations or bladder cocktails are mixtures of medicines put directly into the bladder. Types of installations include alkalinized lidocaine and heparin, DMSO, sodium Hyal or onate, I probably blew the pronunciation of that, heparin, bladder cocktails, and new installations are under development. The third line of treatment is cystoscopy with hydro distension. Although intercystitis is generally diagnosed by the exclusion of other conditions, along with the hallmark symptoms, pa- symptom, pain, there are cases where an additional test is needed. Cystoscopy with hydrodistension under anesthesia may be necessary when an IC diagnosis is in doubt and the symptoms are complicated. Complicated symptoms include incontinence or overactive bladder, gastrointestinal problems, blood in the pro- or protein in the urine, and gynecologic problems. Cystoscopy with hydrodistension is no longer considered the golden standard in the diagnosis of IC because glomerulations can also be seen upon hydrodistension in those without IC symptoms. The degree of severity of the glomerulations does not correlate with the severity of IC symptoms. 
Some people with the symptoms of IC have no glomerulations. Uh, You say that so many times it gets hard to say. Under general or regional anesthesia, this procedure uses a cystoscope to look inside your bladder after slowly stretching it with hydrodistension. And this allows your physician to see changes inside your bladder that are typical of IC, including the presence of pinpoint size red marks on the bladder wall. This is Lives Changed. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host. Now don't go away. We'll be right back. For over 50 years, Evelyn Stapula has been a loving advocate for people with disabilities throughout the state of Pennsylvania. President and founder of Big Heart Bridges, her organization actively campaigns for legislation and support of civil liberties that meet the needs of disabled individuals with housing, transportation, and employment. Ms. Dupula has joined forces with a variety of esteemed organizations that advocate for the disabled. She serves on the board of the United Cerebral Palsy of Pittsburgh and the Governor's Cabinet and Advisory Committee for People with Disabilities, and she is a consultant for the Pennsylvania Governor's Conference for Women. Her many efforts have led to the implementation of a transportation program for the disabled with the Access Paratransit System of Allegheny County. Evelyn Stapula strives daily to serve the interests of the disabled, to protect their freedoms, and enable them to live normal public lifestyles. To learn more, please call 412-491-2605 or email Evelyn at ers92645 at verizon.net. WikiWags brings harmony back into your home for male dogs and their owners. Inventor and entrepreneur Linda Jangula has created the disposable doggy diaper wraps made with the male dog in mind. The built-in wicking ability prevents rashing and other potential health issues for your dog. Each wrap comes in four sizes and has dual reattachable magic tabs for easy adjustments. And each size has a 7-inch logo strip for adjustability. So they are comfortable and easy to use. No more fuss, just leave the mess to us. Whether you're in or out, your dog will be free to run about. Stop cleaning and start enjoying your home, and you can even leave your dog alone. To order your WikiWags, visit WikiWags.com, or to find out where to buy WikiWags in your town, visit MyWikiWags.com and start enjoying having man's best friend around. Welcome back to Lives Changed. This is Deb. This procedure also allows doctors to see Huner's ulcers, or patches, which are present in a small number of people with IC. Now, about this procedure, your doctor will not perform your cystoscopy with hydrodistension in his office. The bladder needs to be filled with high pressure in order to see the typical abnormalities of IC, a procedure that can cause significant pain if you're not anis, an, anis well, if you're not under. <laughs> in addition, in-office cystoscopy may not reveal the glomerulations on your bladder and the diagnosis of IC can be missed. Cystoscopy with hydrodistension is an outpatient surgical procedure and you will be admitted to the hospital, but in most cases you will be discharged the same day as the procedure. Prior to the procedure, you may have basic blood work done just as you would before any surgery. During the procedure, you will receive general anesthesia or your public A pelvic region may be numbed by a spinal nerve block. You may not feel, you will not feel any pain during the procedure. Your physician will insert a cystoscope through your urethra into your bladder. The scope, which is fitted with a miniature camera, enables your physician to see the interior surface of your bladder to look for Huner's ulcers and other abnormalities. Your doctor will first examine your bladder by viewing it through the cystoscope. After the initial cystopic examination, your physician will hydrodistend your bladder by filling it with fluid at a low pressure, 60 to 80 
centimeters and keep it full for one to five minutes before letting the fluid out. This process causes the bladder wall to stretch out, allowing your physician to reinspect your bladder with a cystoscope. If you have IC, your physician usually sees irritated areas, glomerulations on the bladder wall. Also, the hydrodistension allows your doctor to check your bladder capacity under anesthesia. We're going to have to stop there for this week, but this is the end of the show. And so, I need to say I am thankful that you watched the show today, and I hope you will return next week. This is Life's Changed. And we are on every Saturday at, from 11 a, or at 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Central, and 8 a.m. Eastern Time. And you can find me on by, uh, Facebook at your Y-O-U-R Fibromyalgia. And my web page is https colon forward slash forward slash deb com. My book is out on Amazon. Look for Kindle and then look up RSD CRPS from a patient's perspective. And it's $24.99. Please remember that you are stronger than you think and you're not alone. Well, I hope you have a blessed week. I really do appreciate that you turned in, uh, tuned into the show. I will see you next week and uh, goodbye. You've been listening to Lives Changed with host Deborah Lundquist. Find out each week how Deb can educate, guide, and help you get through the daily challenges of living with fibromyalgia on Deb Lundquist's Lives Changed. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.